Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike, and today is an exciting day as I love trying out cutting edge technology. And today we've got something here that looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but these are actually fully working haptic feedback gloves called the Dexmo gloves from Dexter Robotics. Now, if you follow the channel, you'll know that I love haptic feedback in VR, from recoil gun stocks to full haptic suits. But something I've never tried before is an exoskeleton haptic feedback glove that can restrict your fingers' movements to give you the sensation of holding objects in a virtual world. Now, hand tracking technology is great, but when you're just touching the air without any resistance, it feels like something is missing. And that's where the Dexmo gloves come in. Now, sadly, these are out of reach for consumers right now due to the very high costs, with medical applications and businesses such as car manufacturers being the target market. Now, these are just loan units from Dexter Robotics to check out on the channel. So thanks again to them for sending them out. So although these aren't for consumers right now, it's always nice to get a glimpse of what could be in store for us in the future. So I'll start the video by going over the features and the specs of the gloves, and then I'll be running through the demos provided by Dexter Robotics, and I'll give you my final thoughts on the Dexmo gloves at the end of the video. I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one, and without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so before we dive into some demos, let me quickly go over the specs and features of the Dexmo gloves. The creators of the glove are Dexter Robotics, based in Shenzhen, which is also known as the Silicon Valley of China. They've been working on this concept since the early Oculus DK1 days, back in 2013, and they wanted to create a product that could allow users to touch and feel virtual objects in VR with full hand presence. And after many design revisions, they finally launched the Dexmo gloves. The gloves are compatible with all Steam VR headsets that can use Vive trackers, such as Vive, Index, and Pimax, and it also has adapters to attach the original Oculus Touch controllers for use with the Oculus Rift CV1. But sadly, right now it doesn't have adapters for the new Oculus Touch controllers for both Oculus Rift S and Quest. The gloves are completely wireless and use a Bluetooth adapter to connect to your PC, which means that something like this could work potentially with the Oculus Quest in the future. The gloves provide 11 degrees of freedom hand movement and use five servo motors for providing a unique haptic feedback experience. The gloves are lightweight at only 300 grams each and have a memory foam pad on the inside, making them surprisingly comfortable to wear. Each glove contains an 1800 milliamp hour battery, which provides up to six hour battery life. Dexter have also developed their own SDK called the Dexterity Engine, which provides plug and play interactive modules for use with both Unity and Unreal, streamlining the implementation process for developers. And now that I've covered all the specs, now it's the fun part. Let's fire up the gloves and try them out in some demos. Okay, so here we are in the Dexter Robotics demo experience for the Dexmo gloves. And as you can see, my hands are completely tracked now as I'm using the Vive trackers attached to the controllers. Now the tracking is a little bit spotty, so just bear that in mind. And I think it's just because of the position of the trackers on these gloves. As you can see, they go a little bit haywire every now and again, but you can see the finger movements are represented in VR now. We've got these four demo experiences, so let's check them out. and. You do it by grabbing these sort of glass orbs, which again, you can totally feel by the way, you know, the fingers on the glove are being restricted as I pick up this object. So if I show you now, I can clench, can touch my fingers, but as soon as I pick this up, my fingers are restricted and I can't bring them all the way in. And that's exactly how it feels. So it gives the sensation that you're holding a real life object. All we need to do to get into the experience is bring it towards our face. And now we're in the experience, which is this fire extinguisher here. And you can pick it up. And again, you know, it, it feels like you're actually holding a physical object as again, your fingers are restricted when you pick it up and you can manipulate this object. You can rotate it around. Um, although it is unusual when that happens because when your 
hands go through an object, it doesn't quite grab it properly. So it'd almost be better if it had that kind of boneworks physics to it, so your hands couldn't pass through an object, and then you wouldn't have that problem of not being able to grab it properly, because if you try and grab it when you're halfway through, it doesn't quite work. So that would be a little bit better, a way to improve the demo experience anyway. But you can just pick this up, press the button down on the top, and again, you get the resistance in the fingers, regardless of what finger you use to push the button, or all of them, for example. It's a shame we don't have a fire here to put out. But the thing that I saw in the comments a lot about these gloves is people were worried that, you know, you know, the gloves went haywire, could they break your fingers off? Well, the motors are pretty strong because they can actually hold your fingers back. But I think if I was really, really clenched my fist whilst grabbing an object, I could probably break the motors in the gloves. So although they're pretty strong, I don't think they're strong enough to cause you any damage. I think you're more likely to cause damage to the glove than your actual fingers. So let's try one of the other demos. This one's probably my favorite one. This is the heart one. And as you can see, we've got a beating heart here. And if we pick it up with our hand, we can feel the heart beating in our hand, which is crazy. And if we relax our grip a little bit, you don't really feel it. And then as soon as you put your fingers around the heart again, you can feel it pulsating in your hand. And this just kind of makes me think, you know, just imagine if there was a Mortal Kombat game in virtual reality with support for these gloves and you could do a fatality move and reach into the opponent's chest, rip out their beating heart and then stand there and admire your handiwork. Mike wins fatality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Right, let's move on to the next one. So here we've got a tap and a basin and we can turn the tap on at the top here and again we can feel that and then we can put our fingers underneath the dripping water to feel the sensation of the water on our fingers. And again, the more resistance you give it, the more you get back. And you can do it on the back of your fingers as well, which is kind of a strange sensation as the motors are actually pushing down, which is unusual. And it's a shame that these, these gloves don't have sort of uh, heat or cold sensors in them, uh, in the fingertips, like the Thermo Reel, which I checked out on the channel a while ago, because that would really give you the sensation of it feeling like water. If you could feel the sensation of hot or cold, that would make it even, even better. And it kind of like makes me rack my brains of what kind of experiences I'd like to see using this technology. But let me know in the comments what you think would be a, a great sort of app for this. I know a lot of you are thinking, Something rude, no doubt. But let me know in the comments down below. The last experience of this is this one, which is the piano. And if you follow me on social media, which you totally should, by the way, you'll know that this week I've been experimenting with uh, pianos in VR, learning how to play the piano using the Oculus Quest and SideQuest with an app called Virtuous. Um, but that was very challenging. It was actually very difficult to, to use, whereas this looks very clear and simple. You just push the keys, which are highlighted. And if you're all tucked up in bed, I can s play you a little tune to send you to sleep. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Okay, so there we have it. That's the Dexmo gloves from Dexter Robotics. And this was the first time for me trying out an exoskeleton haptic feedback glove. And I like the concept as it does provide a unique tactile feedback sensation that I haven't experienced in VR before. I think that what Dexter Robotics have achieved with these gloves is pretty incredible. And they've actually been working on this concept since the Oculus DK1 days. Not only does it work as intended, but also looks pretty incredible. I love the design and wearing them just makes you feel like you're truly living in the future. However, using a glove like this does have its limitations. I can't see us as VR gamers using a device like this in the future for playing games like Half-Life Alex, for example, as we still need buttons and thumbsticks to navigate virtual worlds. And I think it's gonna take a long, long time for that to change. Using these gloves in gaming would require a complete redesign of the way we move and interact in VR. 
and would likely need to be combined with a full omnidirectional treadmill to handle our movement, which then takes the costs to another level as a home user. But maybe this could all be entirely possible for VR arcades, which I'd love to see in the future. For training and design applications, I can see the enterprise market being interested in a product like this that can offer this unique type of haptic feedback and individual finger tracking. And that's exactly who these gloves are designed for. I think the only thing that let the overall experience down for me was actually the tracking. And that's due to the location of the Vive trackers. I'd love to see future revisions with built-in Steam VR tracking, so you don't need to buy the additional trackers on top of the price of the gloves themselves. There are similar gloves out there available on the market, such as Manus VR and Hapdex. So if you want me to try out more gloves on the channel like these ones in the future, let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what you think. Are you excited about the idea of haptic feedback gloves? Do you think they're the future of VR? Or like me, do you think we'll be using controllers in 10 years time? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks again to Dexter Robotics for letting me try out the Dexmo gloves. I really, really appreciate it. So leave a like if you liked the video and you found it interesting. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future content. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.